A new twist to the Hebrew Union College story now. The board that voted Monday to downsize the rabbinical residency program in Cincinnati also voted to modify a 72-year-old contract to enable its eventual closure. That 1950 merger agreement was between Hebrew Union College and the Jewish Institute of Religion. WCPO 918 reporter Dan Monk explains the importance of a few crossed out words. This 1950 merger agreement requires Hebrew Union College to permanently operate a rabbinical school on the Cincinnati campus, but it also allows the board to make any revisions to this document with a two-thirds majority vote. On Monday, the school's Board of Governors removed the rabbinical school restriction from the merger agreement with this resolution. It became in all likelihood legally possible to reduce or ultimately eliminate the rabbinical program here. That's the consequence of it. Michael Meyer is a professor emeritus of Jewish history at Hebrew Union College. He also wrote the book on the school's first hundred years. But it had been the strong feeling that because the roots of American Reform Judaism are here in Cincinnati, that it was important that a vigorous rabbinical program remain here on a permanent basis. We asked the school to explain how and why the contract was changed. They sent us sound bites and a statement from President Andrew Rayfeld. We will now take the necessary time and care to consider the right way to implement the outcome of the vote. We also asked for an accounting of donations that could be lost because of the change and how the school will pay for the reimagined campus it says it wants to build in Cincinnati. This is and has always been only the first step of our journey towards a future. And that journey now continues. Well, in my opinion, uh, the more uh, openness there is in a religious institution, the more that institution gains broad respect. We may have disagreed on the specifics of the actions recommended, but there could be no disagreement on the issues that confront us and will demand our collective action. The favoritism they show for New York and to some extent Los Angeles will make it very difficult for any kind of a program to survive here. Dan Monk, WCPO 9, IT.